Hello and welcome back to another, you know, thing. The latest community development program topic that was talked about in the place where you talk about stuff, aka the forums, was VIP. Cryptic are planning on changing VIP in some way in some time in the future, and they decided to interrupt the the planned CDP, which was for Wards in Progression, to give us this little mini one about VIP so that they could have some of our opinions on the things that they wanted to change. They have quite a few changes that they would like to make to VIP, and we as a community had quite a few opinions about said changes. There's like 14 pages of comments on the thread, and I did not read all of them, I'll tell you that right now, because that's a lot of words. However, I did skim through and saw a lot of recurring opinions that were the same, so I will mention those and then talk about my thoughts on the matter. And yeah. Okay, here we go. So one of their main things, the very first thing that they mentioned in their post was that they wanted to adjust the rate of the, that you get free keys, the lockbox keys. Their thoughts were if they increase the lockbox odds by double or triple the amounts, how they asked how we would feel about changing the rate of the keys to keep a similar value, and pretty much everybody said, do not change the rate that you get keys, or some people said, allow us to claim a backlog of keys up to a certain amount of days, like if you log in once a week, you can claim, you know, seven keys or something like that. But pretty much everyone was not happy with the idea of lessening the amount of keys that you get from VIP, which makes sense. That is what I thought too, because that's a big reason why people buy VIP. They're like, oh, I get 30 free keys a month. That saves me like 3,000 zen. And then I get all these other cool perks too. So it's personally for me, the, the keys that you get from VIP are one of the least important things to me. But it was one of the reasons why I originally got VIP in the first place. And I can say that that's one of the reasons why other people buy VIP too. And having that perk reduced or lessened in some way is not going to make people happy. And furthermore, even if they tripled the rates of getting good loot from lockboxes, the rates are still going to be extremely low. If you've watched any of Reiner's videos, you know that the chance of getting a legendary mount from any of the lockboxes is roughly around 0.15%. Now, if you triple that, a little bit of math tells you that that only makes it go up to 0.45%, which is still only about half a percent chance. So instead of being 1 in 1,000, roughly, chance of getting a legendary mount, it's 1 in 500, which is still an insane amount of lockboxes, and people are still going to complain that the rates are too low. Another thing they suggested was having another currency in the game that you get from VIP that allows you to have access to a different shop where you can buy things other than lockbox keys, like wards, enchanting stones, or other valuable items. I don't know what said other valuable items are, but that's the example they gave. So basically, their point is you log in and instead of getting a key, you get a currency, which you can then use to either buy a key or something else. Now, on paper, I think that is, it could be a good idea, but it depends on what it replaces because a lot of the things they suggested were kind of like how something would replace something instead of how something could be added in addition to what we already have. And that is an opinion that a lot of people stated. They said, listen, we paid for this stuff. We don't want it to be taken away from us. If anything, you could just make it better and add better stuff, but lessening the value is not going to make your older customers happy. That's what a lot of people said. They gave an example of how VIP would be changed, like an, a block of everything that they would do that would make VIP different. And going back to the lockbox keys for a second, they suggested 10 to 15 lockbox keys per month, which is half to a third of what we get now. And that is why, you know, people were upset about that. But going back to the topic at hand, the VIP store, it was stated that it could be in place of the reroll tokens that we get. Now keep in mind, this is just an example. And it's important to remember that this is just an example and it's not stating like, this is how it's gonna be. It was an example they gave for us to give feedback on. So I hope I said example enough in that sentence so that you get the point that it's an example, but it's an example. So the fact that it could be replacing reroll tokens was something that I pointed out and was not 
happy with because if it were if the reroll tokens were in the store, I would pick a reroll token over anything else any time because reroll tokens are a really cool and really good newer feature that they added and then they're just sort of going back on that a little bit by making it an option instead of, you know, three chest rerolls in a day. I use rerolls. I never use AD to roll a chest. Always use reroll tokens. It's nice. It gives me more chances to get something that makes my time worth it. Personally, I think that that VIP store currency thing should be in addition to the reroll tokens that we're already getting because that would make VIP cooler, I think. Even if we didn't get the keys by default, but we could still get one key per day, I think some days of the month I would probably make the choice to get a ward or something instead of a lockbox key because, you know, lockbox keys are not really worth my time most of the time. But the store in general, it, it kind of depends on how much the items will cost and what items are in there. Because if you have to save up a week of currency just for like one rank five enchanting stone, and you can get two of those from capping your rough ID for the day, it's not really worth it. So the next thing they asked us was how we felt about the possibility of removing ranks from VIP. And the, if you buy VIP, you get all the benefits that you would have had at rank 12 while it's active. And then they also asked what we valued about those ranks. Most people said that they didn't like that uh, people could get instantly what they had to buy so many extra ranks to get, like they paid for that stuff and then all of a sudden people can just buy VIP once and get everything, which makes me wonder how they're going to do the pricing for VIP because if there's not ranks anymore, the price of VIP is probably gonna go up because there's gonna be all this extra stuff included in one rank of VIP instead of you having to, you know, rank up 12 times to get to all that stuff, which may equal out to be the same. I don't know, because you do have to buy VIP every month to keep increasing your rank, and that price adds up as well, but we'll just have to see if that is something that they choose to do anyway. Personally, I thought that even if the value ends up being equaled out, people are going to see that as a loss, and unless there's some form of equal compensation, if the price is not the same, uh, I don't think it's going to go over very well for people who already have VIP. If the players are new, if they don't have VIP and never had it before, they would definitely consider that a win because, you know, I don't have to rank up to VIP rank 12 anymore. I can just buy VIP once and have everything. That's great. But I also added in an edgy little comment. I mean, I mean it's not really edgy, I guess, but I pointed out that the people who do have VIP are often the ones who are driving the newer players to buy it, and then if the existing customers feel their value was taken away, and I was just like, well, yeah. Kind of like a thing, you have to keep your existing customers happy in most cases if you want to continue to grow your product, I guess. As long as the value is kept equal, I really don't care if ranks are removed from VIP. There, that's my opinion. And to answer the, the question about which perks I value the most, I made a whole list in the order of what I felt was most valued. The most important things to me, the top three things, are travel signpost, bank portal, and mailbox. That is just one thing. I, I lumped them all into one, number one, because they're all equal in my book and I use them the most heavily. I use them all the time and they just make the game so much better. And that's also the thing that I talk about to people whenever I'm telling them how good VIP is. That is the number one thing that I say. Second thing that I like the most is not having an auction house posting fee. And that is something that I get to talk about later, probably in like two minutes. And the third thing is injury immunity. Because inventory space is hard to manage as it is, and then I don't have to carry around injury kits anymore. And it's wonderful. And since I did talk about reroll tokens, I feel like I should mention that reroll tokens were at number four for me. So, yeah. If you feel like reading my entire list, I will link to my post in that thread that you can go read if you feel like doing that, but most of you don't like to use your eyeballs, so I won't be upset if you don't go read it. Okay, next, talking about the auction house. They mentioned that being able to list an item, unlist an item, and relist an item again at no cost or penalty is not healthy for the auction house, and they want to do something about that, which... To me, means they want to get rid of us not having a posting fee. 
on the auction house. And that is one of the perks that most people make use of frequently with VIP. It is a very heavily used perk, something that a lot of people like and a lot of their people's most profitable perks as well. And pretty much everybody in the comments was like, yeah, we don't like that idea of that going away. There were some people that were like, yeah, I kind of understand where you're coming from, but it still kind of sucks. But most people were like, absolutely, positively not. But my suggestion for this issue was to keep us having no posting fee, but make a cooldown on how long in between postings you can relist the same item. Like, for example, if you list an item and then unlist it, you have to wait like X amount of hours before you can relist the same item again. My example was eight hours. However, the only issue with that is that if you make a mistake and list an item at the wrong price accidentally, because then you accidentally list a legendary mount for like 100k AD, for example, and then you're like, oh my god, I must fix this, and then you take the item down, and then you're like, and then it's like, you cannot list this item for another eight hours. That would be kind of frustrating. But I still think it's better than being able to constantly list, unlist, list, unlist, so much undercutting happening. And it's definitely better than giving us a posting feedback because that is a big no-no in my book. Pretty controversial topic though, so let me know what you think. Some other things that they suggested being added to VIP is giving VIP members a higher cap on refined AD per day. So in their example, they said 15% more, so that would be, let you be able to refine 115k rough Astro Diamonds per day instead of 100k. Now, interestingly enough, I clicked on this and I was like, huh, that would be a cool idea. And then I was reading through their post and then and it was there. And I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, great story. Cool story, bro. There were some people who did not like this idea, but I like it because having that cap made at 100k was not a good thing for me because I regularly refined over 100k per day at the time. I don't anymore because I don't put that much effort into the game anymore, but having a higher refinement cap would definitely incentivize me to do more content in order to meet that cap every day. Something else they suggested was allowing VIP to change loadouts away from campfires, which I think is interesting. And they also suggested the possibility or somebody suggested, I don't remember if it was them or somebody in the comments who suggested allowing us to change loadouts in combat as well. It would provide more uniqueness and uh, strategizing in combat, but uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I feel like in PvP it might be bad, but just from a PvE perspective, it would definitely give combat a little bit of a more interesting feel. If you could change loadouts in combat. Changing them away from campfires is just a convenience thing the same way as invoking away from campfires is, and I think that is fine. I would be completely okay with that. Because there's sometimes whenever I go into a quest instance and I run around on my horse and then I realize, oh, I still got my healing loadout on. I can't kill anything. Ah, uh, exact quote. And, um, and then I have to run all the way back to the campfire to change it, and it's kind of annoying. But overall, I do like that idea. Moving on. One of the last things they suggested was giving increased health gain from the VIP bonus. So in their example, it would give every member of your group 1% of their base hit points as additional hit points, and it would cap at 5% if your group had a full group of VIP. I believe right now it's 2,000 HP, a flat number. Okay, I just checked it is 2,000 flat number. So 1%, if they changed it to being 1% instead of the flat 2,000, that would be roughly like 3,600, 3,500 HP on average for somebody who has a decent amount of HP. So that's a pretty good gain. And especially for tanks. Like, if you have 800k HP as a tank, you're getting an extra 8,000 HP per person with VIP in your group. That's a lot of HP. Wow. I, I said that I thought everyone would appreciate that because more HP is more HP, and having more HP means that you're dying less, usually. There was no proposal for this topic, there was just something, this was just something that they wanted to talk to us about, which I think is a good idea. I'm glad that they are having these kinds of discussions with us recently, but we don't know what they're going to do with the information that they collected from this thread. That, to me, is what really matters. Like, you can have a conversation between the devs and the players and it go wonderfully, 
And then, you know, the devs could just go ahead and decide to do the things that people don't want anyways. That is something that we have seen before. So, the actual discussion itself was great, but it's the outcome to me that's going to matter the most. Chris Whiteside just said that he and the team will be utilizing what they have learned going forward. And that was it. So we will have to see what is going to happen with VIP. And it's a big deal to me. I can't think of anything else that rhymes. But anyway, just to summarize and close it out a little bit, one big point that I made at the end of my post was that I, I believe that in general they want to improve VIP and get more people to buy it because VIP is a popular thing to buy and it is a free-to-play game and you need to make money somehow. That's fine. But if they want more people to buy it, they have to actually improve it, not improve it. Because, let's be real, people are going to see through any attempted improvements that end up making it a lesser value than it was before. And then I also mentioned that I think VIP is one of the things needing the least amount of updates right now. Because I think uh, VIP in general is in a pretty good spot still. Like, updates would be cool, but I don't think it's something that needs to be done now. I think there's a lot of other things that could benefit from the dev's attention, like fixing up the Wondrous Bazaar, for example, or uh, the Invoke Store, or other things like that, but I guess we will have to see what happens. Thank you all for watching or listening or whatever. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, and uh, stay tuned for my next video about the CDP. The next topic is rewards and progression that starts on Monday. So uh, hopefully that one has a lot of good discussion in it because that has been a really hot topic recently and is something that definitely needs some adjustments. Okay, bye.